Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my um, Sephora haul <laughs> from the um, Beauty Insider, the Spring Beauty Insider event. Um, I have an online order and then I also have an in-store purchase that I did. So um, without further ado, let's get started. So anyway, as we all know, the spring sale for Sephora has been going on. It ends tomorrow, May the 6th. So I thought I would go ahead and show you the few products that I ordered. And I did go in store and was planning on making a little bit more purchases than what I did. But everything was kind of picked over, which of course it would be. It was toward the end of the sale. It was yesterday, Saturday. But that's okay. I didn't need a whole lot and I wasn't planning on purchasing a whole lot anyway so I got um, some repurchases and then some new items and some of the products that I have are duds so anyway <laughs> let me show you um, as I'm digging through this box a repurchase one is my Olaplex this is the Olaplex number three. This is the repair and strengthen for all hair types. Um, I use this once a week on Sundays as a repair treatment. I do what it says to do. I get up of the morning, Sunday mornings, and I get up, I shampoo my hair, and then I towel dry it. Or actually, I use a t-shirt on it. I don't use a towel. And then I'll put uh, like a quarter size amount in my hair sometimes a little bit more just depending on how my hair has felt during the week then I'll leave it on for two three hours while I'm doing housework and laundry this that and the other and then I'll get back into the shower once I'm done doing all my housework and which by then I need another shower because I'm all hot and sweaty and I will shampoo it out and do my conditioner. And that is how I get my brown hair so shiny and pretty. I get so many compliments on how shiny it is. It really plays well with my curls. I have talked many, many, many times about how contrary my curls are. They are like a three-year-old. They want things their way and um, they will definitely rebel with products if they don't like it and they have definitely um, adapted very well to this product so I definitely wanted a backup of this because I don't want to be without it and like I said I only use it once a week and it keeps my curls nice and soft and manageable and they like it and I like it so anyway repurchase another repurchase is a mascara from milk makeup if you've watched my Ulta haul, you knew I purchased a couple of drugstore, drug store, not drug score, drugstore mascaras that um, I just wasn't that impressed with. And I really like this one, so I went ahead and purchased the small one. It's $12, but this one will last me a long time, <laughs> longer than what it should last. Um, I use it longer than what I should, but anyway, I really do like this one, so I got that one. And then um, another repurchase, but this one is going to be going back, and it's from Herbivore. And the reason why it's going to go back, I have my, my empty one here, um, and it's the Prism. i got to put my glasses on. Hang on. And I had to buy me some new readers. I had to go up. This is probably why I was not able to see anything because the ones I was using here, these little brown ones here, right here, are 1.25. Yes, and these are 2.0. So that was quite a bit of jump. But anyway, this is the Prism Natural Fruit Acid 5%. It's exfoliating glow potion. It's just a serum, and I really liked, liked it because it's like an exfoliating serum, and I really felt like I've seen some really good... Um, results from it. It's a part essence, part serum. Um, it's a water-based potion. exfoliates away the top layer of dead skin cells and declogs pores to reveal fresh, smooth, and glowy skin. 
and it has fruit acids and hydrating botanical waters to just help to gently resurface the skin. Well, um, when I got this in and opened it up, it's supposed to be a clear, a clear product, a clear serum. And this is one of these um, products that if you don't use it in um, a good amount of time, it will start to oxidize on you. Well, this one I do believe has already started to oxidize. In fact, I know it's already started to oxidize because look at it. It's already brown. And it's kind of a weird, like cloudy, I don't know what's wrong with it, but there's something off on it. It should not be that color. It should be clear. Um, so that is going back. So because it's off, it's gone off. It's gone bad already. So that's going back. And then another product that is going back that I didn't like that I wanted to try because everybody's been talking about this and it's the Charlotte, Ter Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. So everybody's been, in the mother's been talking about this, how good it is for setting under the eyes. Well, I didn't want it for setting under the eyes because I've been looking for a new all over setting powder because I think I may have come to the conclusion that the, um, the Cody Airspun powder that I absolutely love, I really do like it, but I think it may be breaking me out, but I'm not for sure yet. So I wanted to try some different powders for setting my foundation. So I thought, well, I'm going to try this for all over setting. So I wasn't wanting it for under eye setting at all. Um, just for setting all over the face. But, you know, inadvertently some of it would get up underneath the eyes. But it, when it would do that, oh my gosh, it looked horrible. Absolutely horrible. And this one is in the color um, Fair. I didn't like that. I mean, it looked pretty on the face and everything, but ugh. So anyway, um, for the price and everything, I, I didn't really care for it. And I kind of felt, even when I would put it all over the face, I kind of felt a little dry. And I have dry skin anyway, so um, I'm going to send that back to you. I'm just not that impressed with it. So that is going to go back. And then um, in that order, I ordered some more of the Sephora eyeliners. These were on um, clearance, and they are the Sephora Waterproof just let me look let me get my glasses they are the sephora da, 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 da. contour eye pencil 12 hour wear waterproof and i got this one in the color eccentric diva it was on clearance for seven dollars and then this one is in the color good mood and right there one is a, pe uh, a teal and one is a purple purple color i like these because they stay they stay on the the eye definitely they don't they don't migrate they don't move they don't go anywhere they're just a good quality pencil. Um, normal price is $10, so they're not that expensive at all. And they're good quality. And I may go back, and there's a couple more that I want that are on clearance. One that I wanted has already sold out. And then there's one that's normal price that I wanted to try. I think it's called Coconut. It's like a flesh colored. I swatched it yesterday while I was in the store, and I think I want to get that for the inner rim. And I was going to also tell y'all what is on my lips. This is the um, Essence Color Boost, the Mad About Matte lipstick that I showed in my Ulta haul, and this one is in the color um, something red. I put my glasses back on. <sighs> Seeing red, and then the my eye shadow that I have on today is from Natasha Nadona, and it's the Biba palette. And I have the colors Tusk, 
have this all over the lid. Then I have freckle in the crease. And then I have rayon in the outer edge. And then I have Monroe on the lid. I think I did that same look the other day too when I showed this in the haul, didn't I? I think I did. I think I did too. Hmm. Creature of habit, huh? And then the product that I got in store was just one thing. And that's just because, you know, like I said, I'm looking for a setting powder. And it was, I was really wanting to find a loose powder. And so I was looking around at the ones that they had in store, which wasn't really a whole lot. I'm trying to keep my ring light glare off my glasses. But anyway, I seen this one. And it's the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder right here. And it's 0.38 ounces. And um, I was trying to find something that didn't have talc in it. This one doesn't have talc, but it has mica in it. And it has synthetic sapphire. Ooh, I don't, it has silica in it. But does it have dimethicone? It has diamond powder in it. Sorbic acid. Hmm. Anyway. Looks like this here. It is the setting powder that I have on, and it's just in um, translucent. I think there was only one color in it, I do believe. But anyway, it just looks like this here. You may have already seen this around, but it is what I use. It does have little fine um, shimmer particles in it, which I don't mind because I like my face to be glowy anyway. Um, I don't know. I think I like it. It's kind of odd as far as the sifter. Um, there it is there. You're to tap, tip it up and tap it out into the lid right here. But I don't like that because it's right here. And if you want to use a big fluffy brush, I would rather that this lid right here just be flat inside there. So then I could just swirl my brush just all in there instead of in this little spot right there. But anyway, but that's what it looks like. Some people say that it kind of left um, a yellow tint to them, which I didn't read the reviews until after I bought it. And But I, I didn't notice a yellow tint to me today, which is my first time wearing it. So I hope that that's not the case because I don't like anything to be a yellow or golden tint on me. I have pink undertones but there it is swashed but I do like the finish my foundation is a little bit light today because I use a little bit too of too much of my mixing pigment today <laughs> so I got a little bit too too white but too light but anyway so that is it that is all that I ordered and got during the Sephora sale that's all I plan on getting unless I decide to get you know some more of these pencils which I, I think I'm going to which is probably just going to be three more of those so not a whole lot and like I said those I've got what two more two more products that are going back so anyway so that was it for my my little Sephora haul. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. Um, let us know in the description box, um, or not in the description box, but in the comments, what you picked up during the sale. And I hope everyone had a fabulous weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.